Hi Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado City Manager, and this is the weekly update for the week ending April 8th, 2022. The Vons expansion into the old Coromart building is nearing completion. The grocery store has remained open during the construction project, which includes the new space and renovations to the existing store. Crews have installed aisles into the new 5,500 square foot section, and they are now stocked. Work began last October, and the contractor is hoping to have interior and exterior improvements finished by mid-May. The old Core Mart section is on the Orange Avenue side of the store. The expansion work also will include upgrades to the existing departments. Two new public restrooms also are open. The building's facade will be enhanced with a new exterior design, paint, and three murals along Orange Avenue depicting iconic scenes of the Coronado lifestyle. Register now to get the link for a virtual workshop, the second one being held, on Coronado's sea level rise planning process. The city encourages the community to get involved. The workshop is set for 5 p.m. on Thursday, April 21st via Zoom. Register on commentcoronado.org. The first step in the city's sea level rise planning process was the completion of a vulnerability assessment that evaluated how sea level rise could impact the city over time. The city has released the second planning document, the Adaptation Plan, which includes a menu of potential strategies. Coronado's draft sea level rise vulnerability assessment and adaptation plan document is available for public review, and we ask for any comments by May 18th. The highlight of the month-long series of events related to the 2022 Coronado Community Read was an evening this week with the book's author. Linda Rutledge discussed her inspiration for this year's Community Read book, West with Giraffes, and her research on the book's subjects, two giraffes who survive a hurricane while crossing the Atlantic, then go on a 12-day road trip to the San Diego Zoo. Other events include book discussions, art activities, and story times for children, teen events, lectures, and talks. Visit the library's event calendar for further details. The contractor on a project to improve access and pedestrian mobility on the beach side of Ocean Boulevard is beginning work on multiple segments. This is being done to increase productivity and complete construction as soon as possible. While work wraps up between RH Dana Place and Isabella Avenue, Segment 1, crews are beginning demolition operations between Marina Avenue and Ocean Drive, Segment 4. Those in the area will see various stages of work, including sidewalk improvements, relocation of light poles, and installation of new curb, gutter, sidewalk, and pedestrian ramps. This work will be followed by an asphalt overlay of Ocean Boulevard. The work is expected to be completed by Memorial Day, and traffic and access will be impacted throughout the project. Public services crews are installing 30 new art banners on Orange Avenue this week from 1st Street to Avenida de las Arenas. This series celebrates Coronado artists and will be displayed through June. The Cultural Arts Commission works to support local artists through this series of the banner program. Discover Coronado sponsors the cost of the banner program, which celebrates artists, nonprofit organizations, and popular holidays. The city is proud to support the 60 plus artists who have participated in the series over the last six years. To see the collection from 2017 through 2021 and learn more about the artists, visit coronadoarts.com. The San Diego Padres event, Pedal the Cause, will pass through Coronado on Saturday, April 9th, but will begin and end at Petco Park in downtown San Diego. Thousands of participants will ride over the San Diego Coronado Bridge, reconfigured to accommodate both runners and bike riders and vehicles. Those taking part in the event will take Glorietta Boulevard to the bike path and proceed to Imperial Beach. The bridge will remain open to two-way traffic using one side. Riders will come in stages with the first group starting at 6.30 a.m. in San Diego. The bridge reconfiguration will begin at 5.45 a.m. and be clear of participants by 9.30 a.m. The city reminds students and parents that it is co-hosting three bicycle safety clinics called Bike Rodeos this month. The rodeos are for all students, but there will be special emphasis on those with e-bikes, which have become very popular among Coronado youth. Please plan to attend to learn more about using them safely. The city, Coronado Unified School District, San Diego Bicycle Coalition, and Coronado Main Street are sponsoring the bike rodeos. The dates are April 13th at Coronado Middle School, April 14th at Village Elementary, and April 19th at Strand Elementary. Read the weekly update online for more details. Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a volunteer here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Paws of Coronado. This week, our pet of the week is Remy, an 18-month-old domestic short-haired cat. Remy is a sweet girl. While initially shy, as many cats are, once she gets comfortable, she is an affectionate girl. 
Her wish list is short. She's looking for a quiet home without young kids in it, a soft bed where she can go to be by herself when she needs a break, and a nice window with sunlight where she can do her very favorite thing and just bask. As with all of our animals, Remy is spayed and microchipped. She's up to date on her vaccinations and she's had a flea preventative applied. Please be aware that the Coronado Animal Care Facility is open by appointment only. If you're interested in adopting Remy or any of our animals, you can visit us online at pawsofcoronado.org to fill out an adoption application and our adoption coordinator will get back to you regarding the next steps. And for more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's weekly update online.